In the seafood industry, much of what is produced relies on fish being filleted, sliced, trimmed or cut in some way. Fish can be cut by hand, by machine and now can also be cut by computer. In this programme, we'll see how fish is prepared in a modern seafood factory so that it's ready for further processing or for sale at your local supermarket. Most of the white fish used by the industry is cut by hand or filleted. Here you'll see a typical primary processing operation where whole fish, in this case cod and haddock, are being filleted. Fish filleting is a skilled activity requiring training and practice. Good fish filleters can earn high wages, particularly if they work on piece rates. The speed of filleting, the yield from each fish and the quality of the final fillet are what separates a good fish filleter from an excellent one. Fish fillets are trimmed to remove ragged edges and unwanted flesh and then placed into boxes before going off to be weighed and batched up. Here we see fish fillets being made up into batches. Boxes that have too much or too little fish in them are adjusted and the final weight of fish recorded. Record keeping is an important activity in every part of the seafood industry, particularly here where your final salary may depend on how much fish you have filleted. Each box of fillets is covered by a polythene sheet and plenty of ice to ensure that the fish fillets are kept cold and do not dry out. The boxes are made up into a load on a pallet before being placed into a chill store. The next leg of the fish's journey may take it to the curing department to be made into smoked fish. It may end up being coated with batter or breadcrumbs, or it may be sent off to a supermarket to be sold as it is. This particular pallet load of haddock is destined for the curing department later in the day. By tomorrow, it will be smoked and on its way to a supermarket. An increasing amount of fish is being filleted by machine. Mechanical filleting lines are most efficient when dealing with fish of the same size. These farmed salmon are ideal as each one is similar in weight and size. Before they can be handled by the filleting machine, they need to be headed. In this instance, it's done by hand. An angled cut from the gill cover down to the backbone and it's done. After heading, the fish are placed into the filleting machine, which takes a fillet from each side of the fish. Although the filleting machine is very efficient, it's not perfect. A team of trimmers will examine every fillet and cut away any ragged edges to produce a clean, crisp edge to the fillet, which is now ready to be pin boned. Pin bones are the short bones left down the centre of the fillet and these are removed by this machine. Again, the quality of the machine's work is checked and any remaining bones removed by hand. The skinning machine works by freezing the skin of the salmon to a revolving drum and using a knife edge to cut away the skin. Skinned fish goes in and skinless fish comes out. All that remains is for the fillets to be batched up, weighed and labelled, covered with plastic and then a generous helping of ice. They are then sealed and run through a metal detector before heading into the chill store where they will be ready for dispatch. These boxes of fillets started out as whole fish from the farm yesterday and they will travel to the supermarket tonight, ready to be sold tomorrow. Talk about fast food.
It may sound like science fiction, but fish can also be cut using laser-guided computer-controlled slicing equipment. It's being used here to slice up tuna loins, a very high-value raw material where waste is to be avoided. First the machine is calibrated and the parameters are set to produce the size and weight of tuna slices required. Once set up, everything is automatic. The laser beam reads the size and shape of each tuna loin. The computer works out the best pattern of cuts to produce the slices. The mechanical knives slice up the tuna almost faster than the eye can follow. And out comes a perfect series of slices designed to minimise waste and provide a consistent product. And it's as easy as that, every time. And in case you missed it the first time, here it is again.